Immortals, I am Jensen, welcome back to Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen. In the previous episode, we were going up to the tower, Blue Moon Tower, but before that, we were going to go and take care of our blue balls uh, with the Duke's wife, because she is pretty close and also on the way to Blue Moon Tower. So, that's exactly what we're doing, everybody's all caught up? Yep, sound good? Right here, this is the place. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna try and bugger the Duke's wife. We already tried it before and we were wildly unsuccessful because the Duke came in while we were in the throes of passion and decided that was a really, really good time to start, I don't know, strangling his his wife, which I probably wouldn't say is a good time or thing to do, but you know, it is what it is. Now, I did say right before I started the break, uh, right before this recording session, keep your eyes glued to the TV. That reminded me of a story that Yintzit had to go through. There's not here what concerns you. Really? Go on. Get moving. What about the Duke's wife? Okay, we're gonna go try a bug of the Duke's wife. Yeah, so Yintzit, when she was quite young, she had uh, basically these sporadic hour-long sessions of getting ready to go into town, like most like most women in their in their younger years did. And she tried to glue some fake eyelashes to herself, some falsies as she called them. And she ended up gluing her eyes shut, and instead of going into town and having a great time, having a couple of drinks and uh, dancing with her friends, uh, she called her father and spent the entire evening in the ER while they um, very, very meticulously tried to unglue un her eye. Alright, we'll come down here. Man, it sucks, honestly. It would suck to have to do that in the emergency department. Yes, what seems to be the problem? Can't see. Where, where are you? You know, it's, it, it's equally as funny since she only has one good eye. So I hope she she glued the bad one shut when she did that. That sucks so bad. God, I couldn't imagine being in that situation because I'm a I'm a male and I don't glue false eyelashes to myself. Anyway, uh, this is where we want to put the port crystal, just down here, because it's on the crossroads to Blue Moon Tower, which is off way in that direction. Oh, Snow Harpy. Guys, take care of it. For me. I don't want to deal with it. You guys deal with it. Oh, that was close. Good thing Gobbo Le Gob dodged that one. Okay, I'm leaving. Screw this. Uh, we want to go and get our port crystal and we want to stick at that crossroads. Oh, port crystal is actually pretty close to the crossroads. Oh well. Let's go ahead and take this. We'll go down here because it doesn't seem like we can actually go and necessarily rescue the princess. Until we kind of do this quest. Maybe someone gives us this quest. Maybe I'll have to look it up. Maybe I won't have to look it up. Maybe we put the poor crystal down and ignore the princess for now. And we go and try and bugger another griffin. Let's do that. Let's go bugger another griffin. Ah, snow harpy. Watch out, guys. Take it out for me. While I give myself fire affinity. Okay, perfect. And casting. Yeah, strength in numbers, Scarby. That is, that is great advice. Now, we are tiny, so I don't actually know just how easily we're going to be able to get through this windy valley. We already tried to get through here before, and I, I don't think it went well. Oh yeah, this is very... Is this? this is very, very windy. I could probably get there with one burst of a stamina bar. Just by doing this. And then kind of... Pulling strength into the, into the direction of the wind. Okay, we're probably going to have to stop and rest our stamina, because if we deplete our stamina, we'll have to s literally stop and puff. Which is really, really annoying if you consider that you lose all of the ground when you stop and puff. Alright, we're losing ground, but we are gaining stamina. Do we have any, like, stamina items, maybe? Perhaps? Not really. What's this? Peppermint seed. Use it to snap awake. That's useless. Alright, thanks anyway, game. Uh, we're not actually losing much more ground than we do if we just stop moving. That's pretty funny. How are you guys doing? You doing good? I'm getting carried away here. You guys want to maybe uh, help a brother out? Scarby, carry me. Carry me to our destination. Like a child. I'm as big as a child. You should treat me like a child. Carry me up on your gigantic muscular shoulders. Please, utilize your musculature. Oh, she's actually harvesting resources while she waits for me to run forward. Okay, good. I think this is it. Yeah, we made it through. Nice. I'm actually going to go ahead and give myself Holy Affinity right here because we're coming into nighttime and I think with that we're going to encounter a few rude dudes along the way. And those rude dudes are usually quite weak to the old Holy Attack. 
What's that? As well as us also being able to slay some crows just by firing some of these fire and forgets out and they're just auto-targeting the crows. Oh, what's this? A golden egg. What a, what a god roll. No shot. An actual golden egg. Does it keep? An egg of gleaming gold, well stocked with nutrients. Consume it to fully recover health and stamina. Those things are really, really hard to get. And I'm surprised it came from a crow, of all things. Jesus. That's good. That's really, really good. So uh, we just got something really cool that we can duplicate over at the Black Cat. It's definitely worth it. Because there are a couple of quests that do require us to do so. Uh, there should be bandits here. Yep, so they are. They're coming. Go! Go, go, go! Go, go, gadget battle party! Okay. I'm retreating. Uh, let's go ahead and fire a... Fire affinity, because these enemies are weak to fire. Unless they target me, which they're not. Good. And then I'm going to start peppering them. Oh, you piss off, friend. Nice. Scabby, help! What are you doing? Don't allow him to land strikes on me. Stop it! Yes, good. Yes. Impale him. Impale him. Oh, Scabby is now blind, so she's running around wildly. None of those attacks hit me. That was pretty funny, actually. Okay, there is a knight over there that we could probably get with the magic damage. Nice. Good. And he's almost down for the count. He's blocking. Oh, well, sucks to be him. He's down. All right, guys. You guys go. Don't huddle up in the corner, you oafs. Take out the enemies. What are you doing? Cease. Cease and desist. All right, Scarby is literally blind. What are you doing? You batty girl. All right, she's enabled her lantern. Ah, good then. That magic archer just healed completely and fully. That was so good for us right then. All right, uh, I'm going to start firing at this dickhead because he seems to be healing everybody. I'm dead. Wow. One hit. One hit and we died. Jesus. Okay, we're going to have to use the save feature a lot more frequently now. We haven't upgraded any of our equipment, by the way. We should probably be at Bitter Black Isle trying to go for the trophy set by this point. All right, let's go and get our port crystal. In fact, why don't we do that? Why don't we go to Bitter Black Isle? We'll go and get ourselves some nice gear. Maybe we'll figure out how to bugger the the Duke's wife later. We could probably actually just leave that here, actually. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use a berry stone, and we're going to go to... Where do we want to go? We want to go to Cassidus, don't we? Because we want to take the ferry all, all the way over to the bit of Black Isle. I think it's going to be a good, a good way of getting some experience. Because we are playing hard mode, and what better way of beating hard mode than going into the hardest place in the game? Okay, we're here. Good! We still have the helical art, art staff, which is pretty cool. Also, everything in bit of Black Isle is weak to holy. Just about everything. And we could definitely take out a lot of monsters. Oh, hey there, friendo. What's up? You got a quest? Gives me chills just to think of it. Ah, uh, I was. I didn't. You didn't what? I mean, no excuse, cousin. I hid in the well for fear of the dragon. Why? Let me tell you this. You'd be wise to keep your distance from that pit. I was too craven to venture far. And lucky thing, a queer growl echoed back with the sound of water from further in. There's aught down there. Mark my words. I could feel it, I could. You're not see me going back down there to find out what. Well, what if I investigate the well? What? You mean to go down there? You're a right hero. Here, if you're set on going, take this with you. It should have some use to it left. What is it? I'll not soon forget your bravery, cousin. Pray, just come back alive. No. Oh, he gave us a lantern. Useless. Literally useless. Okay, I'm jumping in. There's no shame in fleeing from an overpowering foe. Yes, there is. There's heaps of shame in it. Okay. So, Dripstone Cave. These guys are Saurians. Saurians live in here. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get anything that's not fire. Because they have fire resistance. That's basically the only resistance. Clear out this cave a little bit. There we go. Nice. Do we need any more? Probably. I hear running water from the right. I'll have a look around. Okay. Be good. Be good. Uh, don't know... Apparently we haven't been down here before. That's weird. This map is now filling out. So there should be a Cyclopes and a Ogre of some sort down here. 
Good. Get that rat. Good. Get these rats. Try and get everything in the way. Perfect. Anything more? No, there is not. Okie dokie. So, what's over here? More saurians. Perfect. Everyone, go! Oh my god, we do a lot of damage to that guy. Uh, Scarvey's already knocked his tail off, which is perfect. Very good. And there's another one just down here. I'm just going to aggro them from above, because honestly, they can't really do a lot against me from down there. Pussies. Pussies! Alright, there's another one just between these rocks over there. I think I may have knocked his tail off or something. That's pretty funny. There's another one just down there. This is why I love Holy so much, by the way. It's such a... It's such a cheeky way of taking out enemies. Okay, good. Done that. We probably have to go down to trigger the next event, though, right? Let's see. I think we do. I think we do have to go down to trigger the next event down here. Because I think we're at the point now where we have the Saurian mother. Oop, that was a... That was a screen shake. But what was it? Boon Hoodash. Saurians? No, they've got fire resistance, Scarvy. That's why they... Live in the cave. They're always wet. Actually, that's probably why we don't want to use it. Oh, we did it. Okay. Great. Thanks, I guess. What's in these crates? Nothing. Anything in here? I love that we're strong enough now to just burst all of those crates open. Okay, we've got to take out those snakes. They are literally the pits. Uh, I don't think anyone else is going to even try, so let's just fire a nice pepper shot up there. And we'll try and take them out from a distance. There we go. That's enough. I'll take that. Good. Oh, Scarpy's all like, oh, I like that rock. I'll, I'll, I'll take that rock. Good. Knock that off. And we're clear. So this is the main thoroughfare. Uh, there should be some bandits in this room right here. Nope, just spiders. Okay, so the bandits come later. We're actually pretty early into the game, I think. Like, significantly earlier than I thought. Well, that spider just crept out a sack of money. Jesus. That's why I'm attacking everything, by the way. I'm going to take that jewel of health. I don't know why. I just want it. That's why we're attacking everything. Hard mode, everything drops money. Everything drops huge quantities of money, and we want the money. All right, so through here, it's either going to be a fight or the exit. It's, an, it's the exit. Right here. Good. We're at the exit. So we're actually pretty close to Cassidus. Now we just need to go back to what's-his-face, who went into the well and crapped himself silly. And we need to go and hand in the quest. Right after that, we're going to go and do the Bitter Black Isle. At least a little bit of it, because there are a couple of armor items through there that we kind of want. We also kind of want to... I think the objective right now, our build, is to kind of like fill out a lot of the issues that we're having when it comes to health and stamina. Because if we can advance that quicker, then we can definitely get through the, the fights quicker, which would just mean uh, better efficiency overall. Okay. So, still waiting for my stamina to regen. It takes ages. Oh, we also have the Worm King's ring available, don't we? Oh, nice. Nice, everyone's going to have to go around that crack. <laughs> I didn't. Okay, good. We're in the Seabreeze Trail. We could potentially get attacked here by those nameless guys. I do remember where they all are, but I'm not really interested in kind of fighting them whatsoever. Okay. So, around here... We are going to enter the city. We're probably going to just use a berry stone just to get ourselves right to the gates here. But we had to wait till night anyway because that's when the boat comes to take us to Bitter Black Isle. We're just going to go through a couple of the areas of Bitter Black Isle. We're going to see how we take it. And if we take it well, we'll try for the Gore Cyclops, who's pretty far into the cave. But I'm thinking that we could probably take him out if we're just cheeky enough. Hey, buddy. Guess what I did? You've slain the monsters of the well, have you? I have. Truly, you are a wonder, cousin. Thank you. Upon it, was my hiding in the well what brought the danger to light. I take no credit, mind. Yeah, you, I, I think you angered them. I simply feared I'd be blamed for releasing monsters upon the village for having opened up the well. Correct. It is a relief, and all you're doing, cuz. Here, I owe you at least this much for all you've done. I shall strive to learn from your example. Commit myself to becoming a soldier fit to defend the land and its people. Honest. Yeah, no, once a coward, always a coward, my dude. That's not happening. We'll keep... Let's check in here. Oh, this will be the thief quest that I'm not really interested in. I want to see this notice board instead. Okay, so these are just a bunch of kind of like busy work. 
Whoops. Yeah, let's uh, let's part with that there. Escort quest. So we get one single fairy stone for escorting that guy. That is yucky. Uh, defeat 30 saurians? Yes, please. Should have got that ages ago. Tough to fear? Sure, I'll take that. Wing Griever, defeat the griffin. Gloves of might. This is the one. We need to do this one. That's the quest we need to do. So we need to go to Blue Moon Tower, and we need to go and we need to basically slay the griffin so we can get these things called the Gloves of Might, which will amplify Scarby's ability to climb because we are building her essentially into an in-game wrestler. Her name was John Cena! <laughs> you know, that kind of thing? Yeah, we're going to be going for that. Okay. So along here should be... What's her dangle? Right, I've never watched this cutscene in its fullest before. Ever. Never. Ever done it. Hello? Lady! Behind you! Seriously? I give the cutscene a chance that time and nothing happens? You... you can see me. I can. You are one known to the dragon, found within the eternal ring. Correct. I die in need of the arisen strength. Please, sir, will you lend me your aid? No. The boon I ask can be granted only by one with ties to the worm. I beseech you, sir. I only wanted to know what she would say if we said no. I have die in need. Yes. You have my <laughs> eternal thanks. You speak now to a shadow of sorts. My flesh resides elsewhere. Gross. I will take you there now, if it please you. Okay. Let's go. So, I've always had, like, a little bit of a theory about this place here. I feel like this is supposed to be kind of like hell. But I've never had a direct confirmation. Is that the fate you've chosen of your own will? Uh, thank you for you such a risen. weird, confusing question. Is that it? Yeah, so but we stand now on bitter black isle, far as sea from the cove we departed. I would ask you to explore its depths. Fine. Spooky. Spooky caves. So the I feel like we are basically, since the dragon took our heart right at the start of the game, I feel like we are already dead. Ulra just said that her flesh resides Were elsewhere. Possible, I would not send you off with so meager an explanation. So but I fear I myself do not know it better. My past, my aims in coming here, all of it is lost, as in a fog. All I know is that I, like you, was called here and am bound to stay. I sensed you in the distance and called to you for help. I knew somehow, as by instinct, that you could grant the wish of the one who dwells below. Just as I know my role here is to aid you in that pursuit. Damn, we are so short. Okay, so I feel like this is kind of like the afterlife, and she just brought us here. She's kind of like the ferryman. Uh, find the arisen wandering the labyrinth uh, for a liftstone. Yes, damn well, please. Uh, dousing the Blight. Purify a cursed item. We'll definitely be doing that. Bloody Knuckle. That is also going to be something that we definitely want as well. So, we need to kill a dragon. We need to do a bunch of things, actually, down here. We've got a Rift Crystal. Nice. 400 Rift Crystals straight in the pocket. Uh, good. Let's go. Let's fire into it. There are a lot of things that we can do kind of here at this player hub. And also, there's not going to be um, anything about these doors. They just open for us. They part. They part like the... Like the Black Sea, no, Red Sea, parts for Moses. Good. Let's go ahead and come up here. Ignore this big glowing thing because it's uh, not actually... An epitaph, perhaps? Yes, it is an epitaph, Scarby. Uh, we're not actually interested in seeing what it has to say yet because it's blank. There's nothing on it. We need to find all of the entries across here. All right, we're in the Garden of Ignomni. Let's go ahead and grab this Ring of Purpure. Lore! These words, all who enter. Do not think. Just set one foot in front of the other. The moon eye blends this well. place and otherworldly feel. I'll take that. Shut up, Scabby! Lore! 
Do you not hear the lore? Yeah, these are wargs. These are uh, really, really nasty dogs. We definitely do not want to be hit by them. They are so rough. 1,000 experience to kill, though. Hello. Hi, doggo. Okay, we can't really attack while we're being harassed, so I'm just going to jump up here. And I'm going to hope for the best. I hope they don't find me. But I'm going to spam a lot of the holy around, because I know that it's just going to auto-target the dogs anyway. Uh, they are unholy. Oh, no, that's not good. <laughs> it was a dog in front of us. Yep, that wasn't good either. I think this dog is harassing me now. All right, Gobbo just took out one of the dogs, which is pretty good. Sorry, wargs. They're wargs. Awesome. This one's coming back for uh, seconds, it seems. Oh, oh, no. Oh, thank you, Scarby. We were about to die. That was so close. Maybe we are a little bit underleveled for this place. Or under-equipped. That's Mithridate, Scarby. Yeah. Good find. Okay, let's push onwards. What kind of uh, skills do we have? We've got crap skills. We shouldn't be here, actually, now that I think about it. We should probably be here when we've got the build set up. We'll get the Gloves of Might for Scarby, I think. We'll go to Blue Moon Tower. We'll get the Gloves of Might because we have a quest to go to Blue Moon Tower and basically do that. Or at least, like, leave a poor crystal in front of Blue Moon Tower. So I'm going to go ahead, and now that we're at the player hub of Bitter Black Isle, we are going to use the Eternal Fairy Stone to leave here, because we can't use it anywhere else in Bitter Black. And we're going to go to here. No. Where do we put the poor crystal? Oh, there it is. North Face Forest. So I think if we go north from here, we should be in a pretty good spot. What are our quests, actually? Let's check out our quests, so we can plan ahead a little bit. Uh, quests, right here. So, Worm King's Ring. Right, speak with the castle residents to know about the thief. We already, I already know about the thief. The thief is at the Blue Moon Tower, which is why we're going there in the first place, which means the griffin is not going to be there. So, let's go ahead, we'll clear out the tower, and then we'll try for a griffin somewhere else. Because we need the gloves of might. We actually do desperately need them. Let's go to the North Face Forest. I know it's night time over where we actually live, but that's absolutely fine. Because we got holy. We just need to be able to take out those bandits. Let's be doubly sure of which will see us to a destination. This way! Don't worry, Scarby, I know the way. Uh, I'm going to re-up my holy affinity. We did just get, like, a, a cheeky 5,000 experience just for going down to Bit Black Isle in the first place. Okay, so there might be... Nasties down here. I'm gonna save. Let's save the game. Religiously save. We're saving the game religiously. Here we go. Pray for me. Good, and now we're going to tackle down through here. We want to go to Blue Moon Tower. I love how Scarby's all like, oh, what's that on the horizon? N knowing full well that we've not only been there, but killed a griffin at its peak. Damn, Scarby knows what's what. Maybe we just got to make a really, really big character. Maybe Funko is... Maybe Funko is not what we should be using right now. Teardrop? Hello there, Teardrop. How are we? Okay, we got full stamina. We're going to sprint forward and hopefully not get ganked by the harpies who live around here. Oh my god, I didn't realize that that is actually a way of getting speed without spending stamina. Ah, uh, it's not really. Okay, you got to actually sprint all the way forward, which... Maybe not amazing, but... You know, it is what it is. Fortunately, this is the only place in the game that has this kind of effect on it. What do you mean, mind the wind? Yeah, it will do. Listen, how's the stream gone today? Ah, uh, yeah, pretty good. Uh, we broke everything in Hygienia, and now we're playing some Dragon's Dogma. We are going to go and get the first item we need for the build we're going for with Scarby, which is going to be a wrestler build, which is not what many would consider uh, viable or even sensible, but I want Scarby to basically be grappling on people and punching them to death with her bare fists. That's that's kind of the vision that I have for Scarby right here. Okay, let's go ahead and continue onwards. Scarby is still offending us by looting. Oh, we lost that golden egg! No! We got the god roll and then we lost it! Oh, now there's no birds around the place. There's only skeletons. Oh, that is the pits. That is actually the pit. Okay, he's blocking all of my attacks. Impressive. And here's the rest of them. No way. 
Okay, good. Holy is still doing a pretty good effect. Scabby, you want to take out that guy who's guarding against literally everything we fire? No? Okay, there's a mage gone. I think they've got an archer as well somewhere. Uh, or maybe that's Gobbo. Okay, awesome. Huge sack of money right here. Let's take that. Really nice. Yeah, you don't say. So, <sighs> damn, we really needed that golden egg as well. Uh, they are super rare. Like an actual god roll. I was not joking when I said that. I'm going to go ahead and save right here as well, because I know that there are bandits just around this corner, and they are the pits to have to deal with. Let's go ahead and save, and onwards. Once more, under the breach. There they are. Get him! Oh, my holy wore off literally as we uh, came in here as well. That's not good. Go ahead and give ourselves holy. Go, everyone! Go, fight! Engage! Kill! Maim! Whatever you want! I don't particularly give a hoot. Okay, I took a big hit on that one, unfortunately. Maybe I should try the fire. Maybe I should be trying fire against these guys. They are human, after all, and flesh does burn. School starts in two days? Oh man, that sucks. Won't be able to make it every stream. Might be able to because I'm doing online school though. That's pretty good. Online school's pretty fun. Pretty fun. Pretty exciting. I'm not much of a uh, learning person kind of person. Uh, let's go ahead and get fire affinity. Val is dead, but she's going to get herself back up. That's kind of her special power. What do you mean, please help me? I'm the one getting killed! Okay, so they were supposed to defend me, right? My team, my entire team of people was supposed to defend me. How did that warrior get through? Hard to say. Really hard to say. But now we do know that we need to put an enchantment on ourselves as soon as we can. Because we are about to run out of our holy immediately after the save. Good. All right. We'll come down here. I'm actually pretty tempted just to run past them at this point now as well. All right, go, guys. Go, go, gadget party. Where are they? All right. There is one archer way off in the distance there. All right. It does nothing. I'm literally just going to run past them. I care not. Come on, everybody. We're leaving. Screw this place. We don't want to be here. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye to all of these nasty bandits that are literally crawling out of the caves like termites. Sorry, what looks promising? Get him. Get him. Okay, so we should have a golem up and around to our left here. Who's saying all this crap? Who's saying get him? I'll take that. Uh, we don't actually want to be here. We've been here before. It is a miserable place to be. That is a golem. And it's getting up. No, we are not going to slay it. We are leaving. We're getting out of here. Screw this place. I know we're not to engage. Piss off. I've actually got fire. This is perfect. Yes. Okay, I can take out that harpy. I've got fire enchantments. Nice. There's more. No, there's not. <laughs> oh, no. Skellingtons. Okay, I'm going to try and bait. Okay, I can't bait. Val, attack! Don't be an oaf! What are you doing, Scabby? But she just put her sword away to throw a rock at a bad dude. The hell is that sound? That sounds evil. Okay, holy affinity. Yes, you don't say. Uh, there's probably a skeleton mage somewhere, to be quite honest. Uh, now we are going to fire off all of these holy... Yes, and we're going to do some kills as well. We got two of those kills. Nice. Excellent. We got th four of those kills, actually. Any more? No, there are not. Good. So there should be skeletons all across Blumenthal, which is going to be right ahead of us as well. Did we pick up the poor crystal? We did. Excellent. Like hell you will. <laughs> like hell you will. All right, Skeleton Mage, I can deal with that. That's fine. Good, that's one of them taken care of. There's another one. And that's all of them done. Great. We're moving on, guys. Follow me. Come on, keep up. We're leaving now. Jog on. All right, we're at Cutlass Cape. Uh, Blue Moon Tower is literally right ahead of us here. Got more Skellingtons after us right here. I made friends with the majority of the regular chat of your stream by accident because half of them know me. Don't know how, but we just have an online bond somehow. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's really neat. That was uh, kind of half the point of the Discord I set up in the first place, was kind of everybody to get together and 
talk amongst each other about my mustache and stuff like that. <laughs> that was not the point. That was not the point to talk about my mustache. There are there are better things to talk about than my mustache. Okay, good. Uh, this guy spawned into a world of hurt, unfortunately. Uh, let's move, because I think that skeleton mage was about to cast on us. Uh, apparently that skeleton is skilled. He's just blocking all of the attacks that come in front of him. He's not doing anything. All right, good. Everything's dead. Another 10 grand right here. It's really cool to hear that you've made some friends. That is so sick. Do you actually know them IRL, or is it just kind of like a, 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 a an online relationship? It can be different. Sorry, I'm struggling to see a little bit here. I don't want to fall off of the side. All of the chat just knows each other, but we don't at the same time. It's funny. And it's kind of funny, isn't it? I've kind of watched a lot of uh, people kind of bump into each other in my chat and then just like each other immediately. Uh, we've got a Stonemost Poultice right there. That's good. We are going to use that. Uh, we're going to come all the way down here, and we're going to drop a port crystal right at the doorway of this tower right here. We're going to need to come back here anyway, regardless of whether or not we want to, to slay a uh, griffin. It's going to be a little bit rough. Uh, Gobbo, I think that maybe we could do with replacing Gobbo. Gobbo has served us well, but we have now vastly outgrown him. So perhaps we want to replace him with something that's not a tiny green man. Yeah, he's he's like seven levels below us. That's way too low. Uh, so we probably want to summon pawns by level 51. That's going to be ours and free. Now we also want to kind of like filter out by their class we don't want mage we don't want sorcerer don't want warrior we don't want fighter because we've already got those ones sorted we want rangers and striders now let's see what kind of skills they have because this is how we uh figure it out i'm thinking that some of these people don't really know how to play the game I'm seeing, a, yeah, yeah, downpour volley's really good. Mighty Bender's okay. Fivefold Flurry is a little bit sketchy. Dazzle Blast sucks. Cutting Wind sucks. Skull Split is pretty good. Okay, we're going to go with this one. Who's this? Slee. Slee, welcome to the party. Jesus, hello, Jax. Uh, Jax is my main account character. I restarted him. And now because I've restarted him, he's got this bug where he switches between the voice that I gave him in the first instance, which was deep as hell, and a normal voice. All right, Slee. Yes, Arisen. Are you ready to come replace Gobbo the Gob? You cannot take on any more followers without Come, Slee. This one right here. Yes, I'll give him a gift as well. What have we got? We've got a small fish, we've got a rotten apple. We could probably give him our meat. A meat maybe? Maybe an egg? <laughs> Here you go, buddy. Don't spend it all in one place. Uh, appearance rating, obviously zero. Battle rating, very helpful. Helpfulness, very good. <laughs> he looks revolting. <laughs> Would anyone be surprised if they received this review for this guy, though? Kind of sad there's no monk class. Imagine killing a dragon with my stinky Cheetos hands. That's what we're building for Scarby. Scarby is basically going to be a monk, if we can help it. We are basically going to build her into uh, Pankration. Love one of the people in chat made a clip from your stream. I commented on it and they said hi and just love you. We barely know each other. Yeah, we do and just makes me happy because I barely get that IRL. Yeah, it is neat, isn't it? But you've all, you all know that you've got a common interest, which is my channel. So it doesn't surprise me necessarily that um, all the people that watch my channel get along with each other because I do attract a very specific demographic. Like it's, it's not, I don't cast a very wide blanket with uh, people watching my channel. It's just very specifically smart neurodivergence. Who also really like video games. Because, uh, you know, with smart neurodivergence, like a 50-50 chance that they even like video games in the first place. Uh, hopefully there's some birds here. Maybe we'll get a golden egg to drop again. I doubt it, though. Yeah. No bird. No, dr no egg. Okay. I killed a seagull. That feels good. Not many games let you do that. So we want to come up here, and I'm pretty sure this is where the Worm King's ring is. Where? Cite your source. Ah, good, yes. And there are also skeleton mages all over the place too. Okay, we're frozen. No, we're not. We just took a bit of an ice damage. Uh, we are now frozen. And we are dead. We were one hit. I can't believe that. Gobbo the Gob would never have let us die in one hit. Slee is awful. Yuck! Okay, let's actually get fire. 
Maybe far would be good against the snow harpies. And I'm pretty sure this is the only encounter we will have with snow harpies. So we can get rid of the fire enchantment as soon as we take them out. And we can deal with the skeleton mages up top with holy. A little bit of planning. Does go a long way. That bird is doing like death metal screams at me. Oh well. Bye bye bird. Where are the snow harpies? There's no harpy like a snow harpy. Ah, oh, there they are. They're literally right in front of us. Right over there. Okay, yeah, I see them, obviously. Knocked that one out of the sky. Good, and someone else chased it down with a bit of a shot. That's not good. Uh, we want to fire and knock it out of the sky with some fire. Nice, and Slee is still... Slee just missed with a skull splitter. Embarrassing. Just embarrassing. Not as embarrassing as that skeleton whiffing that shot, though. That was pretty funny. Ah, well. Sucks to suck. Okay, let's go ahead and fire these upwards so that they auto-attack that skeleton right there. Yes, I know we did it. I was the one that done it. Uh, whoops, we don't want to be that close to these skeletons right here. We want to be pretty far away from them. So that we can pepper them with holy. Good. One more shot and he's dead. Slee, again, I just watched her miss another shot with her daggers. Lady! You know what? Come here, Slee. Come here. Slee! Oops. Nope, that's Scarby. Slee! Oh my god. Okay. To the Brian with you. Goodbye. I was clumsy. Good. Well, now that's that problem taken care of. We've thrown her in the drink and she is not going to bother us again. Uh, this guy can't cast a spell as fast as I can kill him. Ha! Nice. Snow harpies! Oh, piss, you're right. There are snow harpies! Oh, why was I hit by that? Scarby! Why didn't you dodge? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give myself fire affinity because I need it. Go! Val, you better not stand there and let me get hit. I swear to God, I will throw you in the brine. Up, oh, that one's way away. I don't know how I'm going to target that one. Uh, good. Got that one out of the way. Almost killed it too. Probably going to die from the fire. Good. Okay, so let's start firing at that one so Scarby can take him out too. Excellent. That I just took him out. Or me. Or me. Ah, nice. That one's in the brine. And Scarby has either just maxed out her vocation or I am completely wrong. Nice. A few nights ago, it was 3 a.m. I was watching YouTube. I was typing. Then I saw the moth on the key I was typing on. It scared the hell out of me. Oh, you must have been watching it in the dark then. Uh, fire is not good here. Bye-bye. Oh, my God. He was targeting me as well. Are you taking the piss? Oh, for God's sake. We have to go back to the entrance and get Scarby now. Really? Really, guys? Okay. Yeah, we definitely can't compete. We definitely need Scarby for the tank aggro. Oh, man. This game. This game is uh, really testing me at this point. I know that nighttime is supposed to be, like, super dangerous, but we've got the enchantments to take on nighttime enemies super well. It's just an annoying blend of harpies. Like, actually, just any flying enemy in any game ever is just really annoying. I think that's the issue that I'm facing right now. It's just flying enemies are being flying enemies. And I'm surprised by it for some reason. There we go. We'll come down here. We'll get Scarby back. Don't you worry. Here she comes. Hey, Scarby. How was your holiday? Was it good? I bet it was good. Okay. Come on. We've got work to do. <laughs> you know how bed bugs are in beds? Cockroaches. Oh, I never thought of it like that. Oh. Although, compass is a compound word. No one ever gives it uh, credit for that. A phonetic compound word. Disgusting. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just go with holy affinity now because I think we've passed the point at which harpies will even be in this level. And we want to get up to the crowning glory of this um, of this place. Because that's where Salamet is going to be. And we need to chase down Salamet to get the Worm King's Ring. Which we definitely need. It increases casting speed. It's actually a bit of an essential for mages. I think that this playthrough is going to be like the bad playthrough. Where we just do bad things. And I think the next playthrough we'll get all of the, um, all of the quests done. And everyone's happy and stuff like that. We'll even uh, like spear Fornival, I think. Okay, good. We've got a skeleton mage over here who's about to die. Ah, oh, well, sucks to be him. 
Not my problem, though. We've got a Skellington again. Let's go ahead and fire now. Because it's not like he's going to be able to do anything. Excellent. Uh, there's some husk and milk over here, which I'm going to take. Yes, very good. And let's go through here. I don't think we're going to be attacked out here. There is a crate. Nice shot there, Val. She missed. She missed the box right in front of her. I think Scarpy broke it. Right, so we can go all the way along here because we already opened it up. Very nice. Are oranges called oranges because oranges are orange? Or is orange called orange because oranges are orange? Uh, they're called oranges because they are, in fact, exemplary of the color orange. Uh, the, I believe the color came first. I don't think... I don't think oranges were the first orange fruit ever. <laughs> also, more trivia for you. Did you know that... Uh, oh, what was it? Broccoli. Or cauliflower. One of the two is actually a, a man-made plant. They came from mustard, which is pretty unusual. The hell is that noise? Oh, that's not good. Uh, we're being attacked. We're being attacked by a phantasm of some sort. Got him! What do you mean ogres are bloodthirsty brutes? What ogres? Oh, that ogre. Okay, yes, I hear it. It's just around this corner, I think. Let's go ahead and give ourselves fire affinity, and we'll get Scarby and Val to just kind of go. I'm leaving it to you! Okay, we've got fire affinity. We've also got fire magic, like green ing. They, he should be going after the woman. Yep. There was a third attack that we probably should have went with when it came to angle. Let's just use that one instead. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, well, screw it. I don't care. Damn, every single one of those missed. That's embarrassing. Okay, let's start firing away at this here ogre. <laughs> he just attacked his own dude. That's funny. Okay, let's get a high commission up in this bastard right here. I'm going to fire it off in three, two, one, boom! Okay, that's that skeleton taken care of. Excellent. How close are you to beating it? Uh, I could beat it in, like, within an hour, but... <laughs> no, I'm just having fun with the game. It's a fun game. He's probably going to kangaroo kick us at this point. Probably need to go ahead and use a grand angle. Let's go ahead and just fire off. Uh, we are pretty close to basically opening up the game. We are almost finished the uh, tutorial, which most would consider to be the story of the game, but I believe that the story basically starts after you kind of finish the base game. Oh, there is actually a skeleton mage on the other side of there. Just going to really quickly grab that. Let's go ahead and fire a high commission off in this wall over here, because it seems like if he can fire through the wall, so can we. Let's see. Bye bye! Boom. What is this dichotomy? They can fire through walls, but we can't. What garbage is this? You bastard! Oh my god, there's another one! No! Okay, this is not good. Everybody come! Everybody come with me! We need to re we need to regroup. A flask of water. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. Now how do we use it? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try maybe fighting them out here. Maybe they'll fall off the ledge. Might be a good idea. Maybe we could try the old thunderclap trick. Might be a good one too. So as soon as he comes around the corner, when he comes, when he comes, ah, ha, ha, nice. He's stuck on the walls. Not for long. That did nothing. Great. Okay, I love how this area is laid out. I love it. I actually love how this area is laid out. I'm going to go and I'm going to try and... Take on these skeleton mages. I don't see them. Oh, he's actually stuck in the wall. It's embarrassing. Okay. All right, Scarby. Uh, I've got a gift for you. I got a gift for you. It's a barrel. Enjoy. Die, you bastard. Okay, a few more hits and he's dead. He's dead. Good. Let's go ahead and try the old holy trick because now we've got skeleton knights. I just want the first one. We don't want too much power. Under three, four, five, still pretty damn good. And we took care of him. Great. Excellent. Uh, there is a chest here, which I'm going to just poke into while everybody else is struggling with um, <laughs> this dingle dangle right here. Oh, he's blushing. Probably because we got some girlies uh, up, up, up in here. Okay, I'm going to try and fire a little bit of fire underneath his groin. Whoa, that was close. He almost kangaroo kicked us. There we go. Wall of fire. Beautiful. 
Okay, let's keep on firing our holy, which was not a good idea whatsoever. We want to try electricity. Let's try electricity. Let's try Levin. That did nothing. That did nothing. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, we're going to try angle. We've got a grand angle, not just the old rubbishy, yucky high angle. We're going to try the grand angle against him. Boom! I think we've got more skeletons. Maybe. Uh, high commission this time. I'm going to try and get that skeleton sorcerer as well. As soon as I cast it. Oh, no. It's getting up. It's getting up. We're doing it. Boom! Okay, I got the skeleton sorcerer, and we took him out. Perfect. I think we just mastered our vocation as well. So we're going to grab this giant sack of money. Hey, we took them both out. Please help me. Uh, no. <laughs> Get yourself up, Val. I, uh, Val is one of my characters, by the way. I built Val as a uh, support party pawn. So she's not, like, huge on damage, but that is not her purpose. Her only purpose is really to heal people, and if she goes down then uh, she'll just get back up because she's got a little powerful staff on her. Let's give ourselves holy affinity because we're probably going to come across more skeletons. Let's be real. Yeah, it's pretty cool, actually. I'll, I'll show you. In the equipment, if I go into Val, she's got this weapon here called the Legion's Might, which has a pretty good magic skill, but it also allows you to pawn to equip it quickly, revive after falling unconscious. She is functionally immortal. There is literally nothing that can kill her except for maybe a fall off the map which would kill anybody, including the in-game boss. Pretty funny. All right, let's push on wits, and hopefully we won't get ganked by another one of those ogres. That was really unlucky, by the way. Two ogres spawning at once? How often does that happen? Maybe on hard mode it happens pretty frequently, but I I don't know. Okay, we got more skeletons coming after us. Oh, no! Lots of skeletons coming after us, including a mage, who is somewhere. Where the hell is he? I think he's above us. There he is. Okay, so if we just fire this that way, they should auto-target him. Nope. It just auto-targeted that poor wanker. We must have fallen off of the... Oh, wait. Was that the guy? Okay, we don't have an archer because she was useless, so we threw her in the drink, unfortunately. Okay, we got more skeletons in front of us. I was just trying to recharge my holy affinity really quickly. Go! What are you doing? Don't look at me! Idiots! Okay, that was me. I did all of that. They did nothing. Perfect. I also just found 10 grand. Awesome. Never going to give you up? Never going to let you down? Feels weird to be Rickrolled. Have you seen how many views the um, Never Going to Give You Up actually has on Spotify? It's well over, it's billions of views. I think it's the most viewed song ever. Just because of memes. Okay, there's another one, I think. Hello? Selamid? Alright, we're at the Tower Summit. What do you mean Snow Harpy? What the hell are they doing here? Oh, bugger off. Really? Okay, go, guys. Yes, I can see that, Val. Good shot, right to the face. Uh, doesn't look like any of the treasures respawn. This is supposed to be where he is. This is supposed to be where the Worm King is. That's what we're doing. Okay, back to town then, I guess. We'll get the Eternal Fairy Stone, we'll throw it up into the sky, and we'll go back to Grand Sorin. On YouTube, it has 17 million? It's got so many more on Spotify, my dude. So many more. Port crystal master. I'll look it up. I'll look it up for you. It has... On the old Spotify... No, oh, I don't know if I can see it on my phone, actually. Never... Whoops. I'm gonna... Give... You up. Rick Astley. Uh... Oh, it actually won't tell me on my phone. Oh, well, that sucks. Yeah, it's heaps on Spotify. I'm pretty sure people are just, like, sending it around each other. 17 million would be so low, by the way, for the amount of people who rickroll. I'd say there have been rickrolls that have probably made somebody watch it 17 million times. All right. Uh, 13 start on dead. Yeah, we'll take. We'll definitely take that there, Quest. That's going to be absolutely fine. Uh, thanks for that, Scarby. I don't really care, though. I'm not really interested. Unless we find a decent ranger. What the hell is she wearing? What is that? There's nothing on there. Okay, fine. Uh, we're going to move onwards. We're going to see if we can't uh, change our vocation skills around. Because we have been a little bit lax on vocation skills. We also haven't filled out all of the uh, skill slots in our party. Which is why I say we've been really lax on the vocation skills. Scarby should only have Blink Strike, but she hasn't actually used it since we started playing this game whatsoever. Let's go ahead and change the vocations. 
So we have one more slot until we've maxed it out. Scarby has finally maxed out Fighter, so we can stop her from being a fighter, which is a uh, fairly annoying thing for her to be. We want her to be a ranger. We definitely want her to be a ranger, I think. Yeah, definitely. We're not really interested in her being like a sorcerer or a major or anything like that. We just want her to be some kind of ranger. Jesus, she is a hulk of a woman, isn't she? Okay, criteria, that's 305 damage, 429. We'll go for the Crimson Teeth. Oh, Crimson Teeth actually has uh, magic damage as well. Uh, for the kid, we'll go for the same circlet that we've been giving her this whole time. What is this? Assassin's Mask? Nah, nah. Not going to use that. Uh, Marshall's Braces, definitely giving that to her because that increases strength. And she can't use the Chaos Armor, unfortunately. So we're going to have to give her something a little bit more, I don't know, roguey, I suppose. There's Padded Armor here, which is probably does a, a fair bit. We could probably actually buy a good set off of Caxton or maybe even off of the uh, Black Cat. Maybe the Black Cat. We can also give her the Lion's Spine, which is a pretty good fister. What else we got? Uh, we do want to give her the Legion's Might Gloves, though. So we're probably not going to worry too much about that. Uh, we'll give her the Wormheart Mantle, because it looks bougie. And also rings, we want two Ogre's Bones, if we can spear them. We don't have any. Okay. Daggerous Ring it is, and nothing else. Probably want to manage Sword Eyes and start depositing everything that we have, like all of this crap right here. We don't need any of that, or any of this, literally any of this. All of this can go in the in the bin for all I care. Uh, Val can keep that spring water because it's handy. Eyedropper, useless. And we don't have a third person in our party, which is quite nice as well. Lantern, don't need it. Uh, what's next? Scarby has two pickaxes. That's excessive. Val has a pickaxe. Awesome. And now Scarby has lots of resources. Good grief. Wow. I'm eating Starburst Jello? That actually sounds delicious. Oh my god, I've never heard of such a thing. Like, I've never, I've never heard of candy Jello. You must be American. Americans have all of the, the, all of the good food collaborations. We've got a skeleton key. We've got the unsigned letter that we're just going to put in storage because it's annoying to have. Favoured branches, probably useless to us. Scarby doesn't want the Seedens Warden or Scorch Pelter. Uh, Val doesn't have anything of use because she doesn't really do anything. Other than healing people, uh, we probably want to deposit the Chaos Gauntlets if no one's going to use them. Leggings, we've got the Half Chain Hosen, which Scarby should realistically be wearing, and the Chaos Greaves. And Funko has nothing. We also have the Hero's Cape. Yuck. Get rid of that. And Jewelry, we have the Swordsman's Ring, which she is not going to use again. Oh, we've also got the Ring of Purpure. Get rid of that. Bye-bye. Okay, so we want to learn or set skills, and then we're going to go and do equipment stuff, aren't we? We still need one level in the mage vocation rank to get to basically where we want to be. Bolide. Oh my god, that is overpowered. We are getting it. I can't. Oh, hi, Bolide. Oh, yes, daddy, please. Uh, Fulmination's not amazing. Seism is pretty overpowered as well. We must be a sorcerer. Yeah, we are a sorcerer. I'm going to go with Seism and also probably uh, none of that necromancy stuff. Although, actually, that's going to be really, really handy to have. Right next to our fire and holy. So I'm going to take Maelstrom as well, because that's probably my favorite spell in the game, to be quite honest. And now we also want to check out Scarby, who is virtually naked. Biting Wind, we're definitely going to take that, because she has a ring that upgrades it. Kept it shot? Sure. We'll take that one too. And the core skills. A broad range of dagger blows, punctuated with a fierce kick. Sure. We'll take that. And round delay. Okay, we'll take that one too. Uh, augments. I don't think she has any for the ranger, or any secret augments. So now we just want to equip all of this stuff, right? We don't have anything else that we could necessarily do. Keep that shot, we'll equip that. Uh, she might be a bit useless for now. What has she got? Um, extends the limit of your health. That's not necessarily all that helpful now. But we don't have anything else to replace it with. So I'm pretty happy with what we've got. Okay, uh, we actually want to set skills on Funko as well because we completely forgot to do so. Angle is okay. Levin is okay. High Comestion... To probably be replaced with, I don't know, high bolide. <laughs> and we probably want necromancy on the secondaries. Fire affinity is probably not amazing either. Let's actually re replace this with high levin. And then on this first primary, we'll get C maelstrom. That is probably my favorite skill in the game. Definitely. It tastes amazing. I'm American, but I'm also German. Ah, American. Do you participate in your own try not to bop? Yes, I do. Even though I'm the ones that um, 
I, I give the albums. So I know that is really hard anyway. I try to do them. I try to do them. I listen to them over the streams, and it's pretty hard not to bop to albums that I promote in my Discord <laughs> because they're so good. Sorry, uh, Scarby's naked body just caught me off guard. Okay, let's go all the way down here to the Black Cat, and we'll buy some nice little goodies for Scarby. I think we'll keep his source remain. Uh, sir, what the hell are you doing? Just perving into some windows, I think. Just shove them over just really quickly. Why not? Why not shove them over? Uh, we need a tank, by the way. So we're going to need to get ourselves a big, beefy pawn. Probably from a pawn crystal. I'm not sure where else. The Duke's gone well and truly mad with his business of researching the dragon. Sure, they're right. So okay, we're going to skip all of this. I'm sure uh, let's go ahead and see what he has, because we want to get some armor for Scarby right here, who's currently wearing a bra and nothing else. Okay, so we'll take a look at the weapons first, because she still needs a bow. Unless we just, like, now want to build her... Oh, we've got the bezel crown. That's pretty good, I think. A bow like something out of Clockwork Contraption. It greatly increases stamina consumption, but felling foes with it earns the wield a hefty experience. Damn, that's like the Medusa bow from Dragon's Dogma 2. There's also the Hydra Husk. Uh, a longbow fashioned from the pliant skin of a Hydra, especially effective against such monsters. Might be better to have the Hydra Husk instead of the Bezel Crown. I don't know just how good the Bezel Crown would be. And even if she's accruing experience quickly, this is probably the class that we're going to want her as anyway. So I think maybe Hydra Husk would be the one, right? All right, we've got some new helmets, apparently. Or maybe we just haven't looked here. Maybe I could give her an eye patch. That'll look sick. Okay, we're giving her an eye patch as well. It's only going to cost us around about 300,000 buckery booze as well. Uh, maybe we should be using the Dragon's Pulse Circlet. Might also be a good idea, because we've just got this Tiara of Enlightenment. Actually, the Tiara of, of Enlightenment appears to be better than everything else. Weird. Okay, we'll keep that. Also, Silver Quiris, uh, Marshall's Braces, that's what we've got on. And we want to equip probably one of these really, really cool armor sets, right? Emissary Armor has some really good defenses. It's the best one. Light armor when worn by the Duke's elite personal guard. Excellent, we're doing it. And now for the gloves, we're going to replace these eventually. Probably want to keep the... Actually, the Minomi braces look really cool. Maybe we go with those. Braces once worn by the Akada of, Forcer of sorcerers, persecuted as heretics of the faith. I was expecting something a bit more better. Minomi braces, lightweight for the nimble work of a professional killer. Yep, I'm sold. Okay, for the pants, which he's not wearing... We probably want either Emissary or Monomi Greaves. I'm thinking Emissary. Probably Emissary, right? Because it's got better resistances to Thunder, which is an, an annoying one that no one really considers. And she also should have some pants on her as well. Uh, and there's no... There's no nothing. Okay. We have just bought a full set of equipment. Let's go ahead and equip the Hydra Husk. And we're also going to... Give her an eye patch because she's got that banged up eye and we don't really want to see it anymore. We're going to take a look at this armor and we're going to equip it. It didn't replace the martial set. That's perfect. Minomi braces actually look badass as hell. Half chain hosen can go in there as well. And also emissary greaves. Nice. That looks sick. I love that. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, Montebank. Does the armor glow though? Scabby? Damn, what a boss. She looks so meaty. Uh, look at this guy right here. He's got a gigantic sword. What's up? Hello. Yeah, how's it going, Jill? Uh, do you want to come and uh, work for me as a tank? I am honored to travel with you. Yeah, sure. Welcome to the crew, Jill. Massively undergeared for your level. Perfect. Nice. Okay, so that's everything filled out. We can now go out in good conscience and start maybe fiddling around. Wait a minute. Is this Slee? Hello. No, that's Cat. Yes, Arisen. With a lowercase K. Okay, whoever owns that character right there, lazy as hell. Can't even be bothered holding shift when they type the first letter of a, of a sentence. Dude! This is the second time I've caught you perving at people. Who's staring at that man's ass? Disgusting! Shame on you. Shame on you, sir. You get a dunking. You're getting dunked. I hope you're happy with yourself. 
I think he's happy with himself. All right, uh, let's go ahead and push onwards. We need to talk to someone. I think that there's some... Um, oh, T Caxton might know. Hey, Caxton. The idols are said to come in various forms. I care not. Tell me about the Masterworks Hall. The Masterworks Hall. You can't go wrong. Fun fact. The most expensive item Samsung sold was a tank. Yeah, I know that. They also build uh, drone pay delivery options. Do you participate in your own try not to pop? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> I already answered that. Yes, I, I participate in my own try not to pops. But you have to consider that I'm also the one publishing the albums to the Discord. Uh, the, she should know. Quite the impression to be under direct employ of the Duke. I. You'll be wanting to fill all manner of new needs now, I. I. Come by any time, love. Take all the time you like. All right, she's useless. Home. Maybe we have to talk to that dickhead named Stefan. He's just over here. Hey, man, I'm looking for a sorcerer. You ever heard of one? Do you know what a sorcerer is? My thanks again for your aid in the matter of Salomet's grimoire. My body still trembles at the memory. Gross. Seems I've quite an ear for danger as well, eh? This guy's such a penis! Why is everybody not giving us what we need to hear? The Wim King's Ring. Okay. There is actually... Oh, we need to go and talk to uh, What's-His-Face. Whoa! Hey! Hello. You look capable. Good Hello. grief! Hello. That's some good armor. Let's take a look at your skills. Maybe I'll buy her. Oh, she's so under leveled though. She's one level above uh, Gobbo Le Gob. So if we were just going to keep Gobbo Le Gob, we wouldn't have considered her in the first place. Excuse me, sir. I'm just going to shove you over with my enormously wide but short stature. Yes, this is correct. I've seen him uh, a bunch. In fact, you actually chased him across the city to figure that information out yourself. I got a lady here. Going to shove her over as well. Excuse me. Excuse me, officer. Just need to shove everybody. Hello there, sir. Sorry. Someone must know something. I just wanted to. I just wanted to shove them over. That's all I I did that for. Okay, let's see if the buggering the Duke's wife quest has turned up as well. Because it may not have. Hello? No? Okay. We have to go back here into the servants' quarters. Uh, what the hell are you doing back here? Good Aldous told me there's been sign of thieving within the castle. Even should they escape sight, the castle's construction hinders all who do not know it well. We did that. Our villain had a guide, or had some occasion to grow familiar with the castle. Yeah, okay, I did that. I actually looted the royal treasury. That's how we got the worm hunt mantle, I think. Which is a... it's funny. It's funny that uh, we did that, and that's not even relevant to the quest. Men Hello. Men in the castle praise your bold deeds of late. Yeah, okay. More tasks. This theft is fast becoming the talk of the castle. Lest you go and hear what is being said. It pains me to suspect my peers. But now the unthinkable has happened. We must consider every possible explanation. Yeah, I know what it is. Why are we still going around talking to other people in the castle? We know who it is. It's, it's a really obvious answer if, much like me, you've played this game 50 times. Hello there, random. What are you doing in here? I heard a report of an unfamiliar man seen within the castle's halls. Oh, really? They say he had the look of that sorcerer. The bastard! Okay. I'm taking this. I'm also taking this. Okay, thank you. Oh, what are these? Hey, do you need these? Uh, better take them myself. Good, thank you. Bye-bye. I jumped off this ledge right here. Hello there, Duke. It is I, Arisen, dropping in from the ceiling. If there's talk of a sorcerer, it'll be Solomon, no doubt. I'd hoped we were rid of that rat for good. I do not relish the thought of his return. This guy's voice actor, though. But the pilfered ring does bear a strong magical affinity. It is the sort of bauble Solomon would covet. Okay, thank you uh, very much for that lore dump. Salomet. It is a name that calls up bitter memories. No! It was the Duke held a council of magic scholars here in Grand Sorin, tasked with ensorcelling grimoires and trinkets. Salomet sat at the head of the council. His genius was unmatched, save by his ambitions. Once their research bore fruit, Salomet betrayed his grace and fled with the findings. He disappeared leaving the corpses of his fellow scholars in his wake. 
Well, that sucks. I know not by what design he would reveal himself now. Perhaps thought about this ring that compels him. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, now... Dude, were you just staring at that jester's ass? Jester's? <laughs> How did you fare, Fisher Knight? Yeah, pretty good. Thanks, uh, for the concern. So, now we're off to Blue Moon Tower. What time is it in New Zealand right now? It's 23.21 in America Eastern Standard Time. Uh, it is around about 20 past 3 p.m. Around about 20 past 3. Uh, I'm also going to have to go a little bit early on the stream because I have to negotiate a new utility to supply us with gas so that we can get hot water here because our old gas utility has been ghosting us for two flat weeks. Um, they suck. They're called Rock Gas as well. I, I feel nothing about naming and shaving them. They are literally just a crap company and no one in New Zealand should be using them if they're going to run their business like this. Okay. So, now we could probably... Wait. Why are we... Do we still have to talk to somebody up here? Isn't that all... Oh, no, that's not Fornival's house. Okay, we're going to go back up and we're going to go and loot this house that we just saw is actually going to be a part of what we're dealing with here. Excuse me, sir. Just need to uh, shove past you. Shove between your legs. Got a little dagger in my belt on my back. It's a shame I can't use it. Uh, I don't really think that's necessary, Scarby. All right, the Knight's Manor. Hello? Knight? A sorcerer, eh? Can't say as I've heard tell of... No, wait. There is rumour going around of a quilly dressed man skulking about the quarry. More than his dress is odd if he's hanging around that place with no reason. Well, that's just... Must know something about this matter. Let's ask around. Why, why are we judging this guy for wearing a dress? You don't know that this guy is, in fact, Solomon. The treacherous wizard. Okay, so we do this quest, and then we go to Blue Moon Tower. I think that's supposed to be the quest line. I think I was just skipping a bunch of steps, because I usually just do that. Yeah, on yesterday's stream, I think you told us they ghosted you for a whole month. No, no, they've left us without access to hot water for a whole month. In total, since we signed up to them last year. Started last year, we signed up to them last February, I think. And uh, a whole month we've had in total, not consecutively, in total without access to hot water. Thanks to these dickheads. Okay, so I'll take a look at the board right here in case there's something nice. Recruiter's robe, note. Don't really care about that. The inn offers a clean bed. Okay, so let's see where we're off to now through the map. We'll go to Granzies. We want to go here, which is actually not that far away. We can do that. That's pretty easy. We'll do that. Still insane, though. I know, it's insane, isn't it? They're a business. They are literally a business, and they... Oh, they don't even talk with their customers. It's so revolting. There's also only one way to see what your account balance is, or even if you owe them money. And that's to physically call them, like it was 1986. You, you phone them up. They don't even have, like, an option to pay for the services on their website. You have to do a bank transfer. That's been around since 1994, and I know that because I was born in 1994, and uh, I committed it to memory that uh, that's when kind of, like, online payment services really started and flourished. Very gross, very icky. I can't believe that we went with them for so long. I feel gross for giving them my money. Ah, would you look at that? There's some dudes over here. Let's go ahead and test out this high necromancy. See what it's all about. Might be good. Might suck. I just don't know. It is insane, isn't it? It is absolutely insane. And they've also raised their prices twice in the year as well. Um, we're going to go with a completely different provider who is not only cheaper, but uh, they're better in every single way. All right, let's see what this necromancy does. Do we have to get close enough? Is that is that the thing? Yes! Hey, that's cool! Oh, that is neat! Oh, I've never used this skill in my life! That is so cool! I love necromancy! Oh, piss off, dickhead. I know these guys aren't very powerful, but my god, that is just a fun skill to have in your back pocket. Okay, let's get wholly out because it homes in on these dickheads, and I'm pretty sure it's not really going to make much of a difference. And here we go! And now they're attacking. Uh, we're being attacked by this archer right over here. Bit of an asshole. Okay, good. We actually dodged his attack, which is pretty funny as well. Excellent. That guy had no chance. Even Jill was gearing up to one-hit him. 
We don't even know who Jill is. What do I find listening to your life more interesting than the gameplay? What is wrong with me? That's weird. I, a lot of people come to my channel just to uh, kind of hear relatable honesty. I think that is probably the major appeal of my channel. Like, I'm good at video games. I've been playing them for a long time. But if you want to see someone who's good at video games these days, just <laughs> look up whoever has the most views on a video on YouTube and, that, and, and on that game, right? And then you just watch that. That's kind of how the gaming space works these days. But I, I, I kind of wear my heart on my sleeve. I feel like a, a lot of people really do appreciate the honesty and they find it really relatable, which is probably actually why you get along with so many of the people in the chat. Really? Oh, so there is. I'd never see him. Oh, well. <laughs> Hope he made his peace with God. Uh, we got to get on the other side of this hill right here, unfortunately, because we didn't do that and we're getting a little bit blockaded by it. We'll just come around this hill right here. Here we go! Good, and we'll pop up here. See what else we've got. Oh, I also just bought a couple of games that I'm going to play in the very near future as well called Stasis and Stasis Bone Totem. The second one is, is overwhelmingly positive on Steam, so I'm really excited to see what that's all about. It's also apparently not terribly long. Okay, good. Oh, I think I accidentally just auto-targeted an, an ox. Whoops. Oh, well, that's fine. We have okay, good, and we'll take all of those out. Scarby just did a gigantic scream, so did Val. Why is everyone standing at the spot and screaming? Guys, do you want to, like, uh, explain yourselves, maybe? Ness? No? Maybe? Don't you know? Should I repeat the question? Okay, let's go ahead and just dump damage, I think, is just going to be the best option right here. Nice. And, oh, this ox is so annoying. Get out of the way. <laughs> it just blockaded every single one of my attacks from those goblins. What a dunce. What an actual dunce. Okay. Oh, we don't have to go all the way down there, do we? Good grief, I hope not. Someone was about to scream something. I don't think we do, but we could. I think we actually could go down there. There looks to be something uh, down there. I, I don't think I've ever been down there in my life. Is that a cave entrance? Is that a door? I don't know. Maybe we'll come back there. Sorry, where is this goblin that you spoke of? I see nothing. There is no goblin. Oh, yes, there is. Hello there, sir. Goodbye. Ah, oh, well, that holy polished him off really, really well. Uh, let's go around this corner right here, because I'm pretty sure we can only go up from this away. And then we'll backtrack to... Again, I'm going to check the map again. Yeah, we definitely needed to kind of, like, go up this hill here. Let's go ahead and give ourselves some high necromancy. Just so that we can take out all of these goblins for fun. I think that maybe just, like, the base will do. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Nice. That felt good. That felt really good. Uh, I'm going to pop it again, see what happens. And then we're going to see whether or not we can get some other people who weren't paying attention. Ooh, would you look at that? Goblins. We could probably actually use necromancy just to take out that first one as well. Oh, there's so many skulls on me. Someone touch me. Thank you. Hello there, guys. How are we? I'm coming. All right. One of the Skellingtons has uh, decided to engage. This guy just blocked a dead soul. How the hell did he do that? Okay. Uh, everyone defend me. Whoa. Hello there. <laughs> I said everyone defend me. I'm going to cast Maelstrom. Right here. See what happens. Maelstrom is one of my favorite spells, by the way. This is such a fun spell to use. So is Bolide, actually. But it's inconsistent. It's really inconsistent, Bolide. Do you have or play Roblox? Uh, yes, and in a little bit of time... In a little bit of time, I will also be opening up open uh, lobbies for Roblox as well, so I can play it with people. I played the Mimic, the first chapter of the Mimic on hard mode, and that took ages to record uh, because it was actually quite hard, surprisingly. But I did do it, and I think it was mainly hard because it didn't give me any tutorials on how to kind of, like, beat the game as I was playing. You have to figure it all out yourself. Pretty fun, though. This hello, sir. Oh, hello. As you can, like, tell from the look of me, I'm at my wit's end. Yeah, I can see that. I need to travel south through this mine, but the accursed gate won't budge. Despite the dangers, I came this way hoping to shorten my journey. Some shortcut, eh? It is a fine waste of time if the gate cannot be lowered. Ah, oh, sure, I'll open it for you. You'll see it open? Aye, oh, to be a most welcome boon. But are you so certain you can make it so? 
Oh, you do seem a strong enough sort, I'll warrant. Yep, okay. Let's go and clear this mine out. Uh, we're already here. Why not? It's free experience as well. And a piece of Scarby's build is in here too. And since she's only wearing one ring, she's it's got a spare slot regardless. We must be okay, let's go ahead and get some holy affinity on our staff right here because we're probably going to need the auto attacks to come. And I'm also going to get high necromancy on myself as well. Like this. Because we're not in battle yet. Can I have you use it? Yeah, it should just be Jensen. I, although I did make it start of last year. And oh, it could be, like, more complicated. I, I don't know if there's more characters in it. But it's definitely got Jensen in it. Here we go. A cutscene. Hello there, group of uh, merry men. I have come. Well, well. The arisen toast of all grand Soren. You're going to be the toast of the mines. on a game of cat and mouse what say we see which role you'll feel okay i'll show you that i am in fact the cat where the hell is my necromancy oh for god's sake seriously it just oh all of the holy is targeting rats around the room as well which is just frustrating okay we've got Selimit down to a a fine art great oh, the cat has claws had more grit than the fools in the Duke's guard, I'll grant. But alas, I've not the time for game, sir. Farewell. Okay, uh, just schedule with me when I can arrest you for the crimes that you are in fact committing. You, we'll have our people talk. Ginson 69, that's the one, definitely that's the one. <laughs> There's no way it's somebody else's username. I'm always Ginson 69, unless I can just base go Ginson. I've got so many accounts everywhere as well. I play a, a lot of mobile games in my time. The ones that aren't scams. Uh, Scarby, you want to check out what's in here? Let's Ooh. She's got like a little thunder kind of effect going on around her torso. What is this? It's a hammer. Yuck. That was not worth our time. Eweez. Yucky, yucky. Yes. So we got to stand on this thing, right? This is how we lower the gate. Uh, you guys want to come stand on this with us? Jill? Val? Come here. Okay, we're going down. We're going down, down. I probably shouldn't be singing. I'm still recovering from a cold, and I recover real slow. Okay, so we've opened the gate that we're standing in front of. That platform, which has nobody on it, is actually the platform that we're on, and it's much brighter in here right now. All right, good thing that's open. Don't know why it didn't show me. So this right here, the quarry key, we're going to need that to open the other side of the quarry. Oh, snakes! Very spooky. What else is in here? Not a lot. Scarby just leveled up by killing a snake. That's weird. Funny though. Okay, we'll go on through because we did have a quest to clear out this mine. And I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to do it. Uh, that is the exit. I think there was another path that diverges from the side eventually somewhere. Is it here? No, that is a dead end, as Val just pointed out. She may have been here before. We just don't know. Did you beat it? What, the game? No, I'm, I'm taking my time. I'm having fun. I'm, like, showcasing the story. Oh, no, that's not good. Uh, okay. I almost just killed the knight. The guy with the, uh, the defense. Jill is doing the jump spam to get away from these enemies as well, which is a little bit cheesy. Oh, cool. I just got a uh, quest finished. I wonder what that was. Okay, excellent. I don't know who took them all out, but I'm sure it was equally spread across all of the damage. Giant coin pouch. Thank you very much. Giant coin pouch. Yes, please. That's 20 grand in our back pocket, baby. Oh, hello there, sir. You have picked a poor time to reveal yourself. <laughs> he was hiding behind that pillar. Wow, what a dunce. Is this still the same game? Yeah, this is still the same game. It's not Hydraenea, this is Dragon's Dogma. Uh, one of the best RPG games ever created. Oh, there's some uh, dudes all the way through here, actually. Oh, well, good thing they're not too powerful. Let's go in here, try and clear out this area, because I'm pretty sure this is a large area through to Thoroughfare. Right, what's in here? Not a lot, just some mining stuff. Yeah, probably not, to be honest. 
It's it's not very soothing in here, so I don't think anybody would want to rest in here, although there is kind of like an exit, I don't know, like 50 meters behind us. They'd probably go outside, right? They'd want to touch grass. Okay, I killed a bat. There's another one right there. I killed a bat. That's a shame. <laughs> Sucks to be this bat right here. All right, another bat right here. Good. I killed it. And... Oh, I think I hear what we're here for. Yes, right on the other side of this. Oh, no kidding, Scarby. Spoilers! Yes! This is what we want. Okay, so, you guys distract. I'm gonna get up onto this crate. Thanks, Jill. You just uh, ruined my cover. Okay, I'm gonna hide over here, and we are going to cast... No, not that. Come on. We're gonna cast Maelstrom. We gotta let him get close, though. Come on, guys. Let, let the big guy get close, and I'll cast Maelstrom at it. Where is it? I see Scarby uh, loosing a few bolts at him. <sighs> I'll watch it tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye, DJ. Bye-bye. You have a great day or night. Probably night, right? All right, so probably going to be on the other side of here. Maybe we can curve around and see it. Uh, everyone, come. Come to me so I can actually see where I'm casting. Please? Ah, here it is. Good. Let's cast it. I saw her jump away from it. Go! There we go. Maelstrom has been cast. It's not effective whatsoever. It does nothing. What about necromancy? What about necromancy? Let's try necromancy. Go, go. Go, go. Take on the ogre. We need its bone. We, ne we need the ogre's bone. Okay, I'm casting necromancy. Good, now I'm really tired. Someone get me up. Val, please. Oh, Scarby's going to town on that guy's ass. Jesus. I'm coming. Alright, good. So the dead souls are now going after the big dude right there. Yes, that is effective, I think. Or oh, actually, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh no, I think it was effective. I think that was effective. I think that was really effective, although it's it's kind of hard to tell, honestly. Sour beast steak. Oh, that's actually pretty potent. Good. Silver ore. Don't really care unless we need it. Ah, good. Scarby's just decided to start harvesting everything. Gold ore. Perfect. See if we can't get some silver, because I'm pretty sure we need one or two silver for an item. Okay, what's down here? Ah, uh, there's a chest right here, actually. Scarby, you want to open that? No, she does not. Uh, it's dragon spit. It's Dragon Spit, Scarby. Okay, I'll come through here. I think we've already opened this door. No, we did not. Uh, that's a zombie. Okay, let's give ourselves... Uh, where is the... Holy Affinity, right here. We want Holy Affinity. And here we go! I think that Holy Affinity is probably going to serve us really, really well anyway. Just because there are so many little enemies around here now that we've taken out that one ogre. There's going to be another ogre, by the way. Spoilers. There is one more ogre that we're going to have to deal with. And we should be in the clear. Yo, Yinsen, we need a stream where we just talk about life and stuff. That is the stream. That is the stream. I'm basically an agony aunt with a desktop. Oop. Got ourselves a bat right here. Not anymore. Really? I hadn't already started attacking it. I one hit that guy. Wowie. Yep, not anymore. It's already dead. Again. Okay, I'm going to take that. Oh, look, zombies. Hi, guys. How are we today? I hope you don't mind, but I brought some holy into the uh, the game. He actually had a real big swing at me as well. I don't know if you guys saw that, but uh, it didn't it didn't last very well. What's in here? Ah, cool. This looks well hidden. There's got to be something good in here, right? Unremarkable ore. Gold ore. Ah, profit. Nice. Uh, unremarkable ore. Okay. Oh, so there is! Yeah, guys, you're absolutely right. There was actually an undead warrior there. Alright, let's go ahead and leave these annoying dark little catacombs right here because we are completely done with this area. We filled out the map and we don't have to be there anymore. I don't know if there's any, like, verticality we can climb here, right? I think we're just supposed to stand on whatever the hell this thing is. Really? I just stood on it because it looked pretty. I just wanted to be elevated. Man, we need Scarby to be standing on this thing. I think she's the heaviest one in the party by a long shot. She's like 140 kilos of just muscle. Crazy.
Oh, game. Yeah, yeah. We opened the door right in front of us. That didn't need a cutscene. The hell? Yeah, we're. Oh, I see. In this hole. Not anymore. Not anymore, baby. Okay, we didn't have to open that door, apparently. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. I think we're pretty close to another... Okay, uh, I see him, actually. He's right above us. Okay, good. Took out all of those spiders. Thank the Lord. What's that? Nice. Let's go ahead and pop necromancy. And then maybe we try our luck with a maelstrom while he's not looking. Or maybe it just doesn't work. Maybe that's actually not a good strategy whatsoever. I'm going to cast necromancy. We're going to wait for our stamina to recharge. Then we're going to check what else we have. We've got bolide. Oh, that'll be a good one, actually. Okay, I'm going to jump up here and bolide time. B -b 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 bolide. B -b -b bolide. Here comes the b -b -b bolide. Bolide song. High bolide. Yes, okay. Let's use high bolide. B -b 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 bolide. And here he comes. Now let's watch what hell we wrought. Okay, nothing so far. Oh, one of those hit. Pretty good. Yes, I can see that. All right. Uh, we didn't really get a lot out of that. We probably want to get rid of Ingle and get Seasum instead. Uh, Bolide missed most of their shots, unfortunately. So not amazing. What the hell am I firing at? Okay, that's not helpful. Maybe, uh, Val, cast a fire on it. See if that does it. Oh, nope, it did nothing. Okay, hopefully he doesn't fall down here. Because I don't really want to have to deal with him myself. But yeah, he could one-hit me, honestly. He could realistically one-hit me. Oh, he's dead. Nice. Do it, guys. Okay, so there should be one more of these big fellas in the cave systems. I don't remember where, but where this third one is, there is also going to be a ogre's bone which is a ring that increases unarmed damage. Yeah, you can see where I'm going with this. We're going to... Oh! Ah, uh, bye-bye! <laughs> Probably should have gotten Necromancer before we went in there. Uh, Scarby is, is getting her squat jumps in, for some reason. Let's massacre these poor goblins. Oh, these poor goblins, honestly. Wow. Literally no chance. Oh, they crapped out huge sacks of money as well. Damn, they could have gone... They could have gone places. All right, uh, Mage's pair up. Conqueror's pair up. That's pretty good. There's another chest right here. I'm going to see what's in it. It is a large coin pouch. Not really worth our time, honestly, to pick up that one. Val is now mining a bunch of gold. Good for her. Good for her. Good for her. All right, we'll come through here, and we could probably backtrack a little bit just to see what we missed through this way. I think this is where the second ogre is. Yeah, I, I actually, I see him. Yeah, I know. I'm going to fire a maelstrom right at his ass. Could you imagine a tornado up your bum? That would suck. Don't engage. What is you people? Okay, I'm attacking. Boom. There we go. Maelstrom, let's see what that does. It knocked him over. What? That actually does a lot of damage. Wowee. Is that going to be health as, half his health bar? Oh, that fire did some damage too. We actually got initiative on this guy. Nice, I just blew a, um, a barrel up in front of him as well. Okay. Good. Thank you, Jill. I think Jill took him out. Scarby found a sour beast, eh? Good for her. Let's go ahead and take everything. Nice, Ogre Tooth. That's what I like to see. There's not a bone, though. Where's the Ogre's bone? It's up here. This is where the Ogre's bone is located. Okay. There we go. Good. And up here. And up into this little crevasse. And guess what we just found? A ferric talon? Yuck! That's not what I wanted. Where's the bone? Where's the ogre's bone? It's probably this. There it is. Ogre's bone. So, perfect. Now we want to go into our inventory. Equipment screen. And we want to give this... I've got a Nelt Stilettos here. That's going to douse somebody in oil. I don't know if we're really using fire damage enough to justify it, though. Uh, we'll go into the jewelry. Ogre Bone can go straight to Scarby, of course. And we'll go over to Scarby's screen and we'll equip the Ogre Bone right here. It increases defenses and 
Uh, lens balance such that enemy attacks are less likely to stun the wearer. That's what it does. Okay, it doesn't increase unarmed damage. We need to find the thing that increased unarmed damage. So she isn't getting it stunned, which is actually, it's still very, very good for a ring. Nice. Very nice. Uh, everybody should be mining around here. Scarby just picked up a human skull and added it to her pocket. What an absolute creep. All right, Vala's mining. She's probably not going to find anything good, though. Let's face it. Okay. We're going to push on through, and then we are going to hand in this quest, I think. I think we've almost cleared out this entire place. What is that? That is a big apple. Or maybe I'm just a small man. Hard to tell sometimes. You never know with Funko. No, this is definitely the exit. It seems it leads outside. Yes, it does, doesn't it? So, let's go out here. I'm pretty sure this is going to lead us to the Shadow Fort, if I remember right. But I might not be remembering right. I might be... To find such a place here. Where the hell are we? We are, yeah, this is right next to the Shadow Fort, right here. So that's a pretty good place to have just unlocked. And I know that if we go a little bit further, maybe down here, we'll be able to find a dragon where we could potentially upgrade all of the armor that has already been upgraded to max, but we don't need to. We don't necessarily need to. Now, I don't know what the best mage armor in the game is, even though I have spent most of the game playing every single playthrough included most of the game playing as a mage sorcerer specifically mage kind of sucks sorcerer is very fun to play as so i'm not entirely sure what kind of like what we can do better to get better armor but i know that scarby should probably be wearing the immortal set to regenerate health in between fights and then we'll kind of go for the hellfire armor over in bitter black isle which is just overpowered as crazy there's like five different enchantments that can spawn on the Bitter Black Isle armor sets, and one of them is literally health regen over time. Oh. Yeah, I'll say. Now we want to go all the way back out the start here. Probably want to make sure that we got everything in this little room. No, we definitely got in that room. Let's be doubly sure of which sees us to our destination. No, Scarby. We will not do any such thing. Oh, piss. Actually, we will see <laughs> exactly where we are going uh we want to go don't want to go due south i think we want to go due north it's kind of hard to do when the minimap is moving around no it's not actually it's a fixed minimap perfect so we'll just follow north and we should come out at the quest giver for the quarry quest no we're gonna go to blue moon tower also we've not lost him he's literally outside the store scarby come on open your eyes lady Open your eyes. Okay, here we are. So we leave here. We hand in the quest. We go to Blue Moon Tower, which is where Salamat's going to be. And then we cream him. We get the Worm King's Ring, which is great. This passage links south. Oh, clear, you say? Yes! Happy news, that. You are a wonder, sir. Oh, you. I'll not tell you about then. Okay. With this rope open, the merchants of the capital will have an easier time bringing in goods from afar. From the Shadow Fort, which is already overrun. All right, sure. It's a fine thing for sellers and buyers alike having trade on the rise. Ah, uh, thanks. Thank you for the quest finish. Bye bye. He just did a spin. He was so happy. He did a spin in place. Okay. So now we want to go ahead and set the Worm King's Ring as our quest, and we don't really care about reporting Salamis' escape. I don't know if we do have to do this. We probably do. Realistically. Uh, so it turns out we're actually going to. Go back to Grand Soren, I think. Let's do that right now. Grand Soren. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. It's only going to be a couple of minutes. It's going to be a couple of minutes, then we're going to go get the Worm King's Ring. And then, we'll pretty much have our build perfect. Oh my god. Lore dump elsewhere, guys. Lore dump elsewhere. Yes. That, uh, if I translate that, it's hard to do anything alone. But I mean, where should we hit? Uh, we're going to the quest objective. We're going to go report the escape. Excuse me, nobleman. Let me just uh, shove you over in this dirty robe I've been wearing for probably approximately two straight months without taking it off or washing it or anything like that. The ball sweat. The ball sweat's building up. There's like an audible slap every time I knock into somebody now because of the ball sweat contained in this robe. Thank you. I don't believe I can say the same, unfortunately. Okay, we're going to have to be a little bit stealthy. 
Because it seems though the quest is here. Ah, good. He's not looking. If we are caught here at night time, we are going to be thrown into the um into the cells. Oh. Okay, good. <laughs> Let's end in this quest. Castle, praise your bold deeds of late. I pray such good works continue apace. I have more tasks. Than okay. You fought him then. I knew it was his doing. It is a shame he slipped the noose. But we cannot allow him to run free. We must see him stopped and the ring returned before he can work more evil. Okay. Easy enough. Uh, let's go ahead and leave here because if we're caught, we go to jail and we will then use the Eternal Fairy Stone to go back to Blue Moon Tower. We'll fight Salamet at his own game. Surprised we still don't have a quest from the Handmaiden, though, to be quite honest. I thought we we would have it by now, but maybe I'm... Maybe I think that Someone we're further into the game than we actually are. Best ask around. Well no, not necessary. I actually know exactly where he is. We're going to go ahead and use the Eternal Fairy Stone and go all the way to Blue Moon Tower. <laughs> Why are we doing this? Because that's where Salamet is. I am willing to bet my left nut on it. I will literally eat my left nut if he is not located here. I will gobble it down. No pain meds. Okay, let's go ahead and give ourselves holy affinity right here. Very good. Very good. And whoop. good. So there should be some harpies here if the enemies have spawned. But if they have not spawned, it's going to be no harpies. And it's just going to be a straight shot. Oh, perfect. This is where Salamet is. Great. Uh, oh no, Baal is already dead. I already see kind of like... I see kind of like a, a, a two-bladed blender kind of forming here with these enemies. Okay, one of them's dead. I kind of want some necromancy. Let's get some necromancy in case we get ganked from the side. I'm also going to move sideways just in case that archer gets us. He died first, which uh, sucks for him, but it's really, really good for us. Alright, good. I necromancy. Perfect. You probably already figured out why I really like the sorcerer class. He's so lazy. It's such a lazy class. Oh, look, there's a guy up there. Hello. Oh, well, sucks to be him. Oh, I thought he was going to get dragged up into the sky. Okay, good. Is he coming after me? Oh, he's trying to. <laughs> so close. Almost. Oh, that's an arrow. Uh, we can't get hurt again. That's bad. All right. Go, everybody. We could probably actually use Maelstrom or something, but I don't think there's enough people to justify it. I'm going to try Bolide. Let's get Bolide cast while we stand here in this cloud of health. Thank you, Val. And I think we're going to try our luck with the Meteors. With the Meteor Shower. Because if there's any kind of Meteor Shower that I really like, it's one that I cast myself. Boom! No, they hold the advantage. Uh, well, they don't know, actually, because uh, meteors are coming down from the skies. There we go. There's one of them. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to fire these off into the distance. Uh, one of those comets actually just hit that archer, and I finished him off with holy. Be nice, be nice, be nice. Okay, so it seems as though... What the hell? Jesus, I've never seen this before. Oh, no, don't. Don't do that. Do anything but that. I'll take that. Oh, well, it sucks to be these guys. They're just taking hits left, right, and center. Okay, uh, I'm actually... You guys go ahead, and you attack them. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to cast Maelstrom right at the peak of here. And if they attack me, swear to God, you guys are going in the drink. All right, one of them went in the drink. That's pretty funny. And now we're just going to do a little one right here. Bada-bing, bada-boom. Great. And there's one of them! I don't know how many of them are going to get sweeped up in that maelstrom, but there's at least one that did. Nice. Gorgeous! Alright, good work, team. Go me! Go me! What do you mean, get him? What, you want another maelstrom? Ah, fine by me. Hell, I don't care. <laughs> I've got plenty. You want the bargain basement of maelstroms? I've got a billion! Okay, I'm going to just cast a basic one right there, because I know it's going to kill them anyway. The point of Maelstrom is fall damage, by the way. It throws people up into the sky, and then it skips their resistances by forcing them into fall damage. Okay, someone got caught up in that. 
It's pretty funny. Onwards! There we go, we got two of them. Straight out the bed. Alright, I think I just heard some guy moan. So I think that uh, maybe some guy was possibly beating off up here? Okay, obviously I'm going to cast another Maelstrom right up into this doorway. Why would I not? Right? There's got to be guys up there. It just ma it makes so much sense. I'm just going to nuke the doorway. And then be done with it. Bye-bye! Okay, it did nothing. Alright, I need someone to touch me. I need someone to touch me as soon as I put the staff down. Please, Thank you. Hold on. Now we'll see if they don't just spawn in the maelstrom. Gotta be a couple of guys in the doorway, right? No? That's weird. That's where I would have put two enemies. Huh. Okay. So... I don't think we can go through here. We can go through here. I think the maelstrom actually just broke this. It's a salubrious brew. If you're still wondering. Alright, let's go this way this time. Oh, pose. There are armed rogues. Uh-oh. Okay, uh... Let's try for... Oh, damn. They've got an archer. Let's try for a little bit of the old necromancy. Because it seems lazy. It's lazy and it works. You shall not cast! I love that quote. Necromancy! Okay, so we've got necromancy up and about. Bye-bye! There's another one through there, apparently. What the hell were they attacking? Uh, do we try for mal uh, necromancy again? I'm going to do that in case there are kind of enemies up on the walkway above the staircase that we climbed Blue Moon Tower with. Because there were last time. There were last time. And we don't want to be caught out by them again. Okay, cast these two. And we are tired. Are you all right, master? Why are they chasing rats? Okay, good. There's one guy up here. Sorry, buddy, old pal. Necromancy! I'm dead. Oh my god, seriously? Okay, well! I gotta go! Actually, um, it's about time that I go, because I gotta leave early. I gotta arrange all of those utilities that I was talking about before. Uh, thank you everybody so much for watching! Um, yeah! I'm off! So, right up here, you're gonna find the playlist for Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen, and right up here, you're gonna find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy, down in the description of this video. You're gonna find a link to my Discord, where you can chat to me and my community personally, and until I make the next video, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!